Good evening Philippines, this is Mike Fado once again, returning to our topical weather analysis for this Friday to Monday, October 16 to 19, 2020. And this is brought to you by Typhoon 2000, the Philippines' first website on tropical cyclones. Let's begin with our update. Here's the latest uh, graph set. Beginning today, Friday, until tomorrow, Saturday, we have a long surface trough intersecting the Philippine Islands. Uh, starting from ex-tropical depression offal. This was once a tropical depression, just downgraded into a low pressure area. And another uh, low pressure, uh, very close to offal, developed to the east of uh, Vietnam. Uh, but it's not expected to move towards the Philippines. It will just remain here until it makes landfall over uh, the eastern coastal areas of Vietnam. So it's the uh, surface trough beginning from this system towards across the Philippines and into another LPA. We have a new developing low pressure system right now to the south of Guam in the vicinity of Central Micronesia in the Caroline Islands. So this uh, 96W for the next 24 hours still has a low chance of developing into a tropical cyclone but it's already a moderate LPA and we are going to keep an eye on this system for possible threat to the Philippine Islands beginning uh, early next week. So watch out for more updates here at our YouTube uh, Mr. Typhoon uh, Weather TV and also at our uh, website typhoon2000.ph as well at our Facebook page uh, www.mrtyphoon.com and you can see lots of thunderstorms aff uh, affecting uh, Central Luzon including Metro Manila, Calabar Zone, Bicol Region, uh, parts of Mimaropa, Visayas and Northeastern Mindanao that's why we, ca we can observe some uh, two to three times of rainfall uh, across these areas while over Palawan, western sections of Sulu Archipelago, Kalayahan Island Group, they will be under the influence of the uh, last hurrah of the Habagat. It's still uh, affecting these areas. So, uh, visual conditions with on and off rainfall will be expected across these areas. And uh, up here, over uh, northern Luzon, including Batanes and Babuing Group of Islands, there will be some visual conditions as well as cloudy and uh, isolated scattered rain showers and thunderstorms becoming widespread over northern Luzon because of the prevailing easterly surface wind flow being enhanced by uh, TD, uh, X TD Ofel and the strong high pressure ridge to the north. And uh, so far, that's the latest from our graph set. So we are going to keep an eye on this LPA in the coming days, especially this weekend. So there will be a possibility of storm watch this weekend, either Saturday or Sunday. Just stay tuned for more updates. And as we look at our fast animation, you can clearly see here the large or broad circulation of the upcoming LPA 96W. By the way, once it enters the Philippine Area of Responsibility this Sunday, that's the forecast uh, track, it will be named uh, locally by Pagasa as Pepito. That will be the next name on the list of tropical cyclones for the Philippine Islands and lots of thunderstorms all across the Philippine Islands. Here's the uh, latest from the windy.com UMETSAT zoom in satellite animation. As of this time, 6 o'clock, you can observe some thunderstorm activity across uh, various parts of Luzon, uh, also here in uh, Visayas and Mindanao. So that's the effect of the uh, surface trough passing along. And as we look at our 3-day rain, wind, and pressure forecast from the ECMWF forecast, by uh, tomorrow afternoon, there could be still some isolated scattered rain showers and thunderstorms across Luzon, including the Bicol region, Visayas, and Mindanao, brought about by the uh, surface trough. As we move to Sunday, uh, still some afternoon or evening rain showers and thunderstorms will be expected in most parts of the country because of the surface trough and the uh, prevailing uh, approach of the northeasterly surface wind flow enhanced by the uh, broad LPA which on Sunday will be entering the Philippine Air Responsibility based on the forecast of ECMWF, just an active LPA but it could be a, become a tropical depression. And uh, if we look at the uh, American model, it's already an active LPA. So that's the uh, difference between the two reliable computer models. And on Monday, 
we could just clearly see here from the ECMWF model it's approaching the eastern coast of uh, Samar with uh, again afternoon and evening rain showers and thunderstorms due to its trough and the northeasterly surface wind flow affecting Bicol and eastern Luzon while the trough affecting uh, Visayas uh, parts of uh, Mimagopa and uh, most parts of Mindanao and uh, if we look at the American model uh, here comes the uh, LPA becoming a tropical depression and uh, usually when the uh, computer models is uh, around the tropical depression the tropical storm it's quite maybe higher in intensity in the actual scenario so we are going to uh, keep an eye on those uh, systems and on if we move forward extending through Tuesday and Wednesday to see where the LPA will be going on Tuesday afternoon the LPA will be uh, somewhere here very near the coastal areas of Bicol region or to the east of uh, uh, Central Luzon, it's a wide the swath of this LPA, but look at the wide swath of those thunderstorms brought about by the trough of this uh, LPA 96W and some uh, southwesterly or southwest uh, monsoon af affecting Mindanao and uh, western Visayas. And if you look at the American model, you can see already here. The LPA 96W becoming a tropical storm approaching uh, Aurora and Isabela area, making landfall in the evening on Wednesday. If we look at the uh, European model, uh, the uh, tropical depression based on their intensity will be making landfall over central Luzon with the enhancement of southwest monsoon across Mimaropa, Visayas, and western and southern Mindanao and on the GFS model it will be moving or emerging over the South China Sea or West Philippine Sea as a tropical storm heading towards southern China or Vietnam so far that's the uh, latest from our five-day forecast since it will be a uh, weekend in the next few days uh, at least you will see the uh, scenario of what will be in the next five days so there will be an approaching LPA that we are keeping an eye for possible development into a tropical depression so we'll keep you updated this uh, uh, weekend so watch out for that and we will be uh, issuing special coverage on that LPA on, on that LPA once it becomes a tropical cyclone so we'll be returning again on Monday if nothing changes to give you more updates here at our Mr. Typhoon YouTube channel. From Typhoon 2000, this is Mike Potter reporting. Stay safe always. Happy weekend to all. Be hashtag weatherwiser, hashtag typhoonwiser. And thank you for watching our YouTube channel.